I would now like to invite Mr. Pratik Hira, founder, president and CEO Tornos, which is an experiential travel company that prides itself in being a micro destination management company operating since 1994 and catering in specific geographic areas and offering knowledge based products. Pratik Hira, sir, has been mentioned as out of the box tour operator by leading travel magazines. In fact, the concept of walking tours was initiated by Mr. Pratik sir way back in 1994. Probably when industries in India may not have known about the concept. India's first food walk was started by him in his own city Lucknow in 1995 when street food was unimaginably being offered to foreign tourists by him. Mr. Pratik Hira will be conducting a session on humanities and tourism. Over to you, sir. Thank you, uh, Kajal and Priyanshi, if I got the name right, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, greetings of the day to Professor Kumkum Ray, uh, director of the Amity School of Languages and the convener of this conference. Uh, the valedictory guest, Mr. Chandan Singh, uh, Dr. Manjri Jori, and the coordinator of this conference, Dr. Shranta Srivastava. And of course, to all the speakers, uh, listeners, uh, and uh, above all, all the students of uh, Amity University and all other universities, uh, the students of all other universities who have joined uh, this virtual uh, conference. Uh, it is uh, such a privilege to uh, be here today uh, at this uh, ninth international uh, conference of the Amity University's School of Languages. And I uh, have been uh, hearing most of uh, the deliberations since yesterday. And uh, I must say the presentations uh, have been real learning experience for me and I have gained a lot by uh, attending this conference uh, since yesterday. So thanks to Amity for having me here. Um, I belong to uh, the tourism industry uh, and thus consider myself as an um, uh, interpreter of humanities. So I chose to speak on uh, humanities and tourism, uh, the changing uh, face of tourism. Uh, I want to talk about the inseparable and uh, interdependent relationship of the two domains, the humanities, the subjects of humanities uh, and tourism. So on this uh, forum, uh, I bring an invitation to the students uh, of humanities to uh, including the language which plays a very very important role and uh, as uh, the speaker before me was telling about German and similarly so many other foreign languages that uh, make such a huge difference and internationalize uh, the the inter and open a lot of horizons uh, so uh, I think uh, tourism too can be uh, thought about as one of the career options by the students uh, of humanities, by the students who are doing their uh, 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 the courses in their languages from the Amity University. So academic uh, disciplines, if you see to study uh, the, in, in terms of humanities, the study of society, the, the culture, uh, which has history, heritage, uh, archaeology, religion, anthropology. So uh, everything that uh, humanities covers is uh, very relevant and uh, uh, directly connected to tourism and tourism in fact is largely dependent on it. Uh, so give it a thought and see how dependent we as tourism industry are on the disciplines of uh, humanities that uh, the students at the Amity University are uh, doing, including the language or, or people were talking about the different uh, uh, the prose and the poetry. Everything is so relevant for us in the industry. And uh, then also uh, tourism today is uh, not just limited to leisure movements, but but I would say that it has uh, become most powerful tool to assert soft power of nations uh, on the world. 
And if tourism is soft power, it is because of the disciplines uh, of humanities and the powerful uh, interpretations of it. The, the world, we all agree, and the speakers before me have spoken about it in great detail that has shrunk, and it has shrunk much more in the last two years of COVID times that the knowledge has only grown immensely and has much wider reach than uh, it ever had before. So in my opinion, tourism is one domain that puts all the disciplines of uh, humanities together and in a plan and a structured uh, manner to present a destination as a product. Uh, I must tell you, uh, especially the students of uh, uh, the Amity University uh, who have uh, joined this conference, that we are living in an uh, era of niche and experiential tourism. And that is, uh, it's here that the tourism as a discipline uh, uh, and as a vocation becomes more inclusive uh, of uh, the disciplines of humanities that you all study, especially the subjects of, and I'm talking about humanities because the subject is such, but it could be any subject and specialization in that subject is a part of tourism. Uh, today's uh, traveler, uh, today's tourist who's traveling to places is beyond just touch and go. He wants to understand a destination more intrinsically and deep dive into it. His, his knowledge uh, and his awareness uh, is what motivates him to travel. And when he reaches a destination, he wants to deeply understand uh, the host and the environs around him. It is, it is much more about human society and culture. Uh, uh, thus becomes uh, the that thus comes humanities at the core of uh, tourism today. The culture, the lifestyle, uh, history, geography, uh, languages all play a very, 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 very important and a crucial role in tourism uh, today. The subjects of humanities might look quite disassociated with tourism to a layman, but for us within the tourism industry. It is the most uh, relevant dis discipline as the entire tourism industry is reinventing itself and uh, transiting to uh, knowledge based tourism that demands in depth and factual knowledge and research interpretations. Uh, undoubtedly, COVID has uh, played havoc, and I was listening to uh, Mr. Chandan Singh, who uh, said that it has knocked us and I agree that it has knocked us and it has locked us. So who better than uh, I can understand being from the tourism industry, how badly we have suffered and are still in the face of suffering. But then I'm also seeing this uh, period as a period of evolution where our industry is uh, graduating to the next level. And here the demand for students of humanities across disciplines in uh, our industry will uh, just multiply manifold. So industry is looking for students with uh, in-depth and focused subject knowledge to design specialized thematic tours and to curate out-of-box experiences for uh, tourists, which is uh, which the and which will which which is driving tourism uh, in future, which which is now the new driver of tourism. So for those who considered humanities as just the subjects of traditional study, have to now rethink and see humanities as a vocation too, where uh, most of the disciplines under the domain will be in high demand by the tourism industry at least. So I'm sure for all other industries too, but I'm talking about uh, my industry, which is travel and tourism. Uh, we also need to um, understand and agree that uh, uh, the only thing that is constant uh, is change, and we in tourism can vouch for this as tourism is the most uh, dynamic industry that has changed for each one of us ever since we joined. And uh, the change, I must say, is a welcome one. It has swept us through uh, where information got available with just a click of a mouse. And we uh, 
could know and learn anything and everything uh, on the internet. But at the same time, I would also, I was lis listening to Dr. Professor Kumkum Ray, uh, who mentioned about uh, that everything is not dependent on internet. So, but at the same time, so my message to students uh, here would be that the life should not just be Google search, which will not let them stand out or make them valuable enough. So like the, the speaker from Yes Germany before me was in, uh, telling you that you need not just go to Internet or Google search for a course in German language or a course in French language or Spanish for that matter, but you need to join a proper structured uh, institution. So which is very important. So as a tourism industry person, uh, I double up as a teacher of tourism in different universities in India and abroad. So I have often come across this uh, very perplexing uh, issue of uh, people uh, thinking that they know everything when they Google search and they can Google search uh, any anything that you ask them. But you need to uh, realize here that this knowledge uh, got from Internet uh, would be common. It is common to our customers. It is common to our uh, people around, to everybody. So uh, it is. it would be imperative that we go beyond the knowledge, beyond this knowledge, uh, Google search knowledge especially, and uh, the information that Google search provides. So we have to go above that. We, we, we need to get some extra knowledge. We need to trust our teachers, value their interactions with you, and uh, read from books, uh, periodicals, uh, refer to as many researches as we can. So it, it, it is uh, a hard uh, fact that uh, Tourism, uh, to, to understand, people say that tourism uh, lack uh, employment opportunities, especially in India, but I, I uh, differ with them. And tourism actually doesn't lead, need, uh, uh, doesn't uh, uh, lack employment opportunities, uh, but, uh, or, or, or even the availability of the workforce, uh, but it Im immensely lacks uh, the employable workforce. And unless this mismatch is dealt with properly, it will be tough for our industry, tourism industry, to grow and prosper. In this context, the students of humanities uh, and uh, that too from such uh, progressive universities such as uh, Amity uh, fill the gap. Uh, universities play uh, a very, uh, a, a, an, a, an inevitable role, I would say, in uh, helping the industry grow. Uh, without uh, them, it is impossible uh, to Im even imagine tourism in India. Uh, but then universities too uh, have a responsibility to provide human that is actually a resource for the industry. So industry, uh, I would say, is ready to collaborate uh, with educational institutions and help them uh, churn out what they actually require. Uh, it has to be a serious and a consistent effort on uh, both our ends, on the, on the, on the industry front and uh, at the university front. And I would uh, urge the students of humanities, the students of Amity School of uh, Languages and across disciplines to think about tourism too as one of their career choices, especially the ones coming from uh, Amity University, which ensures uh, the holistic. I was watching the presentation made by uh, Kajal and Priyanshri uh, in the initial part of this uh, valedictory session and uh, talking about the different clubs, different activities that Amity is organizing uh, for its students. So it's, it's a, it is ensuring holistic development. And by virtue, students of uh, Amity have all required uh, soft skills, I would say. So with that, I uh, end my address and congratulate Amity School of uh, Languages, uh, Amity University for organizing this uh, ninth international conference virtually bringing in uh, speakers from all around the world. And uh, I was privileged and happy to be a part of this for these two days, and uh, which now uh, probably is about to come to close after a short while from now. And I convey my gratitude for giving me uh, an opportunity 
to speak here. A very special thanks to uh, Professor Kumkum Ray and uh, Shraddha Srivastava. And I wish all the very best to all of you, especially to the students who have put this all together. Thank you very much.